Good morning, this 21st Sunday after Pentecost. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, it is only by your gift that your faithful people offer you true and laudable service. Grant that we may run without stumbling to obtain your heavenly promises through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through it. A man was there named Zacchaeus, and he was a chief tax collector and was rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but on account of the crowd, he could not because he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to see him because he was going to pass that way. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him. Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried down and was happy to welcome him. All who saw it began to grumble and said, he has gone to be the guest of one who is a sinner. Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, look, half of my possessions, Lord, I will give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will pay back four times as much. Then Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek out and to save those who were lost. The Gospel of the Lord. May only God's word be spoken and only God's word heard. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The story of Zacchaeus, the short man who is a tax collector in the city of Jericho, has a number of different versions in the New Testament. But our version from Luke is perhaps the most specific and uh, detailed. We have this image of this guy trying to catch a glimpse of Jesus in the midst of a crowd. You can almost see him kind of jumping up and trying to look over the shoulders of people who were taller than him. And so he rather cleverly runs ahead, goes to where Jesus is going, and climbs up into a sycamore tree, a detail that I find particularly charming. What is there about a sycamore tree that's special compared to any other? I don't know. It's just a beautiful tree to look at, but I love that detail. So there we have Zacchaeus sitting up there in the sycamore tree, looking, looking with just great anticipation at Jesus, who is passing through Jericho, incidentally on his way to Jerusalem, where he will spend his final days and hours before his trial, his death, his resurrection. And so we're, we, we have this last encounter, if you will, of Jesus with the people in Jericho and Zacchaeus enthusiastically welcoming him. And Jesus in turn recognizing that here we have Zacchaeus, who as a tax collector was on the side of the Romans. He made his wealth because he collected taxes for the Romans and skimmed off or in some cases probably bribed and extorted money from those who owed taxes to to the Romans. So he must have been a hated figure uh, in, in the town and one who um, was looked on with great suspicion. So here we have Jesus again consorting with sinners. And so the people grumbled when they heard that Jesus was saying to Zacchaeus, I am going to come to your house. I am going to have a meal with you. I'm going to stay with you. It is this image that I think we need to hold close. Because as the worst of the worst, if you will, um, as a sinner among the people of Israel, who was also um, a Jew himself, 
uh, a member of the tribe of uh, Judah, a descendant of Abraham over the long haul, as the gospel says, a son of Abraham. We have Jesus saying that it is to sinners that I have come, and it is among sinners that I will dwell. We open our hearts as sinners to the loving presence of Jesus. And this gospel shows us where that image comes from in the early days of the church. We are to always be reminded, always to be reminded by this passage from Luke, that no matter how bad we are, no matter how desperate we are, no matter how hated or shunned we are by the people around us, Jesus is always ready to enter our life, to enter our home, and to dwell with us. Amen. I have to say, uh, this will be the last video for some time, uh, coming from uh, St. Stephen's here in Oxford. Um, I am preparing to uh, be on a medical leave of an uncertain duration. And so for the time being, uh, there will be a suspension of our uh, video service of the Collect and the Gospel and the Sermon uh, going forward. Uh, we hope to be able to resume this in the future, uh, but the time and the date uh, at which that will happen is uncertain. But please stay tuned to our YouTube channel. Look at our old sermons if you haven't looked at them uh, in the past, and please keep us in your prayers. Thank you.